We're back live now. We don't know what happened. We had technical difficulties like last week. Hopefully one of these days we'll get them. didn't go dead. We're gonna, the phone didn't die, just it went blank. So anything that you missed that was entertaining, you go jump on Richard's uh, page, which is what? Richard Club Junior Music at Facebook. Do you have any other social media accounts or is that the only one? No, I don't do uh, well, I don't know if you had a Twitter or an Instagram or a Snapchat or a Tinder account. Well, we need to get you one of those, I mean. Tinder? Tinder account. Yeah, we need, he needs a Tinder account, huh? He needs a Tinder account. I got a Tinder account. It needs to be like steaks and, you know, pork See, chops. they need an app like Tinder, but for restaurants. I agree, because they would be like, you want to eat here? From left or right? I don't know. Let's see. Every I would need to see what they want be like, no, 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 no. What do you want? I don't know. Let's go there. No, no, no. Look at mine. Yeah. I have, I have a meme on my phone that says, uh, Women know everything. How come they don't ever know where to eat? That's true. That's true. Anyway, I'm fixing to play the song, and they said something happened. This song's called Found Me Away. This is on my Facebook uh, from Harley Snap. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, I got like 20, almost 22,000 views or close to it. Y'all well, check it out, maybe 23. We'll have that many views on the VS page in about 10 years, I think, probably. Somewhere around there, we'll get there. All my other videos are like one in 2,000. This song is well, most of the people who visit our page, it's us looking at it. Yeah, yeah. That's how we get the num- That's how we get the numbers up. This song's called "Crap Me Wet." This is this is Beamer's favorite song that I do. So I always have to play this.
happened with last week. It wasn't long because I was watching. No, because last week we went on a two part series, so you know this week it's alright. We do it. I guess maybe we'll start calling them mini series or something. We'll do a, an hour and then the phone Take a says, break, come phone says I'm done. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. So if somebody wanted some Richard Cliff merchandise, where would they have to go to your Facebook page to get it, or they have to come to a show? My uh, wall. There's one hanging on the wall. That one hanging on the I would sell you mine, but it's considered vintage now because I've had it for so long and I've worn it. So it's worn, it costs more money. Whoa. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Sorry. Just came back from the doctor's. So, do they have to go to a show? Have to go to a show, no. or you can hit me up on my Facebook page. Right. You gotta like it first. And he will sell you a shirt. And, uh, you gotta pay for that fancy car. We have a store on our page now. That's yeah. true. You should add that to your page. He added that to ours. We have a we have a store where you can buy the shirt or the stickers. Both Cozy, stickers. Cozy's are, yeah, both stickers. Cozy's are coming and they can pay for it right there through PayPal. Link to PayPal. Link to PayPal. So we you have to mail it? Um, yes, we, we, we will mail. So far, the one we sold on there, I don't think we're mailing. Which actually need to let her know when we're picking those up. So the Blind Squirrel shirts and Tracy Plan we start with, they're supposed to be ready around the 25th. Like I said before tonight, if you order a shirt from me, I have it all down in my little phone. I need your money. I gotta pick those up. They're supposed to be ready on the 25th. So who, do you want to give a shout out who does your shirts or anything? Who does all your uh, stuff? Yeah, um, a place in Anadarko called Shirt Corner. Uh, a couple friends of mine opened a business, uh, Daniel and Raul Marino, they're brothers. Right. Uh, man, they do awesome. They, you know, they're friends of mine, so of course, you know, when I need a shirt, like real quick, I'm like, hey, I need some shirts. Like, I need them fast. They like, All right. That's kind of how our shirt guys. But, but you know, at the same time, I mean, you ask them to get a shirt order, uh, not me, like somebody else. They're gonna, they're gonna get the same way. Yeah, they're gonna get it done. That's kind of like our shirt. I, I've said it now. You got a badge and a gun. What do you expect them to do? Yeah. <laughs> you just go in there and slap that gun down and go, hey, I need some shirts. Like, tonight. I know what you're doing in the <laughs> back. I need 50 shirts. Well, like, I need some shirts now. Our shirt guy's kind of the same way. I just drop an order off and go, hey, um, you know, I need these. I just invited your shirt guy. Yeah, and then one time I went in there with my hat and I kept pounding him. I said, look, we got a deal coming up. I need my hat. I need my blind squirrel hat. I need it like now. And I got it done. You know? Only one in existence. This is the only hat in existence right now with blind squirrel. Um, one day we, we will sell more of these. But oh. I've had a few people tell me, but I've been meaning to go down there to our shirt guy, by the way, Debbie Doom Lottery. Um, corner of well, hello, Harley. Up, Harley just waddled through the, the crowd here. You can hear him on the, on the deal, but uh, so we do an embroidery corner of a uh, D and 11 where we get our shirts and my hat. Which I mean, I know people aren't we just start out with gray, and he's like, too much gray. And I'm like, we need to take pictures of other colors. I mean, they have every hat combination fitted to whatever you want to do, pretty much. So, I, I designed that. Did you? Yeah, I, I, I'm not right here with the computers. Right? He was they watching Edward Scissorhands when he did. Yeah. That's an awesome <laughs> They showed me, and then I'm like, do this, do that, and then I just kind of made my design and make it the hard work, but I like, put it together, put it on colors. Oh, man. Yeah. You're getting tired of me because I was changing <laughs> colors. Harley's just coming through. By the way, that is a, I don't know what he, what he weighs, but it's a bulldog that you can't see. And that's his, him breathing as he walks by. That's what I sound like when I exercise. Yeah, you know, me too. I don't even make it that far, though. Actually, I make that sound when I have to run from the couch to the fridge and back. Mm -hmm. makes it sound when he runs to the toilet. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I had top of the building. I was worried about the same. How many, what do we got for viewers out there, John? Now, how many we got in total? I'm seeing two. I don't know that I can. How many do I have? How many has he got going on his page? We can coordinate. You got one. That's three. I hate that. You know, I don't want to do a giveaway with that few amount of people, yeah. but. And we got different sizes. Oh, you went to three. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's the okay. We're going to give away you know, three. Shirts, so. Three. Richard's going to give away a shirt, and whoever wins it, you need to let us know the size because he's got numerous numerous sizes. I'll give away two shirts. He said he'd give away two shirts, so everybody have a bunch of right. One from here, one from there. Right? One, sure. One from yours, one from there. Give away one to the BS Productions page. Folks, and one to your page. Yeah. And we'll throw in uh, a couple BS production stickers with the shirt giveaway. Um, well, so, like I said, just give it to me. <laughs> well, has been watching almost the whole time, so we appreciate that, by the way. That is, uh, she sings. She sings a lot of the Um... The husband and wife, Frank Ryan, and you said you weren't sure he's the lead guitar player for uh, Red Dirt Rising. Um, it's his wife, and she sings too. So, but uh, we need some more viewers if we're going to give away two shirts. Richards, because let me tell you what, him giving away a shirt doesn't make him any money. He comes on here, we're promoting him. That doesn't make him any money by giving away because they cost him money to have made. So, the more viewers, obviously, the better. You know, chances are, you know, 
That's how it is. So, how do y'all do this? Well, I'll wait till the tech assistant comes back in. We have kind of a non scientific way to figure it out, which is pretty entertaining because we messed it up last week. Danny had to tell us how to do it. So, do you think you're always going to be a one man acoustic show? Or is there ever a band in the future <coughs> down the road, maybe I love, somewhere? Man, my heart's right here playing acoustic stuff, but it's more intimate. It is. I, 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 can, I can be on my, I can be on on my level here. And if something happens, something messes up, like something, uh, like the song gets messed up. Right, right, right. Look at it you don't have to turn the drummer and go, dude, you just missed that whole... Yeah. I, got, I got what you're saying. But at the same time, I love playing with Ben. I, had, I was doing a little band thing there for about three, three or four months. So I heard it. Some good, yeah. There was some good tune. The Beamer had a, a snippet of you, I think he got from you of the yeah. full band. And he's like, dude, you got to let hair test it. I'm like, man, this is... Because I knew who the guy playing lead was. I'm understanding he's, I guess he's playing lead a little here and there. Is he playing with anybody, per se? I don't think he's locked down with anybody, but he's still playing. We're talking about you, Dial, in case you're watching, by the way. I mean, we'll throw, I will throw your name out there. Kid's a, a hell of a lead guitar player. Yeah, he play, he's gone to, actually, last time I played at the bullpen, he came to play. Oh, that's right. He, I saw the, I saw some video of that he played with you there. So, so how many people do you got right now? Like, are we talking three plus how many on his page? I had three, I don't know. It's basically what it boils down to what we do. We're going to need some viewers for you to step away. Yeah, I know it's, it's tough. So, well, we lost the feed for a little bit, too, so, you know. But what we normally did last week with Danny is how many other people are watching? We tell them, you want to comment, hey, Lynn, or I want the shirt. And then we figure out how many there are, and then we have you randomly choose a number out of from whatever, one to, you know, 50 or how many other viewers there are. That's kind of how we do it. You know? That's not bad. We were talking earlier about you listened about a little bit of your listening rap music. Um, I like Eminem. Like, Dude, you know, I like what, what I like about Eminem. Is real Slim Shady? He's, he's real. He talks yeah. about real stuff. He yeah. doesn't talk about his rims and no, no. his chain. Well, you, you think about where he came from, man. I mean, and, he, and no joke, the movie is not his story, but yeah. no joke. He was Something some like white that. dude walking over in here to rap. These guys are looking at him like he's lost his mind. Like, you done lost your mind, and then they were like, like this dude's legit. Yeah. yeah. I'm an ice. I like Ice Cube. Yeah. I like dad, some of the old school stuff. My dad's uh, Snoop fan. Big Snoop. I like Snoop's original stuff. Like what most people don't know is, well, I say most people. Ice T, you know, had a had a heavy metal brand. And I'm talking like hardcore called Body Count. Really? Yeah. And they were one of the first ones to get in trouble because they they did a song called Cop Killer, and that got them in a, a little bit of uh, basically that was. Part of the premise when you started seeing the 18 to buy certain albums back in the day, partly due to them, and I got them a little bit, but, uh, and I'm talking hardcore metal, like you would not expect Ice-T to play that kind of music, but no joke. I don't know anyone asked about the CD, I don't think my mom knew I could listen to it. That was straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton is awesome. Dude. It's kind of like my two live crew tape that I had to hide, mom never knew I had it, because if she caught me listening to that, I probably would have been grounded for at least 10 years. You ever heard of two live crew? So you need to go on YouTube tonight, going down the rabbit hole. Now, make sure there's no children present, adults only, and, and, and go down and, and pick out some, pick on Dirty Nursery Rhymes by Two Live Crew, and you'll be laughing within a matter of minutes. And if you're laying up floors, check your six before you fart. That's true, that's true. You got to. <laughs> so is there... I hey, wrote them a read here. Question. Ask them. Oh, is there course, an artist know. that you would love to, like, open for, like a big, like... Like if they said, Richard, here we go. You get to pick. That I would like to open for? We obviously you can't open for Stevie Ray <coughs> yeah, Vaughan. No, like, I guess you can play at the cemetery, but yeah, um, you can't. I've you can't to, open for him. I've but been to the have you, where's his grave at? It's in Dallas. Uh, it's in, it is, yeah. Oh, he's in Texas, right? Yeah. It yeah. might be a suburb, but it's in Dallas. Yeah. So if they gave you your option. And I, I know you want to say somebody like, you know, Florida Georgia Line, but I'm not going to let you say that. I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's no Florida Georgia Line over, no more. <laughs> Hopefully there's no Florida Georgia Line fans. Not that I can. Just, I mean, because, just because I like the dude, I yeah. like the dude's music, and I think I would fit in with the guy a little yeah. bit. I would like to open for Aaron Lewis' acoustic show. That would be cool. Or even his band, I mean, but yeah. like his acoustic stuff is just awesome. No, I, I've listened to some of that. And I, I would, I would, I think that. So Aaron Lewis, if you're watching, this man would love to open or just sit and jam with you. Yeah. Either one. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say he's probably not watching. 
But you know what? If we mention his name enough times, you know how Facebook works. This video is going to get shared because the last one did. We had like almost 900 views of last week's episode. You never know. Aaron Lewis, somebody can be like, you know, I heard your name on this, this show by these two idiots. Mm, Aaron Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Lewis. <laughs> Listen, let me keep going. And anybody watching, if you know him or know a <clears throat> family relative, you know, let them know that Richard would love to jam with him or open for him. Yeah. What about country artists? Are there any that you're a big fan of? I'm not, I mean, yeah. I, well, like, I say country as a relative term. Okay, okay. Like, I mean, Texas? Well, not, Texas? I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some of the old country I love. I think yeah, that's yeah. some of the greatest stuff. Oh, yeah. The I'm, new stuff, no, I refuse to turn on. I'm, I'm not in the country. Dude, Hank FM. Yes. One of the best stations ever. 99.7 out of Mustang, Oklahoma. Yeah, but it's hard to get sometimes. I have the app. Oh. You have to have to, I will play it through my butt. Well, as soon as you get north of Fletcher a little bit, you can pick it up. And I can jam all the way to the city. But <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm with you on big 80s and 90s that, country fan. 90s country and 90s rock yeah. are my genre, period. Well, see, I'm a little older, so my 80s rock fits. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And I can even go back to a little bit of 70s rock and mm -hmm. roll. Some of it's pretty good. Yeah. So a country act that you would open for? Um, or that you enjoy? Man, there's Chris Stapleton. You know, I don't put him in the, well, he's one of those, he's, like, well, here's the thing, put him on my blue he doesn't look like the typical country boy. country boy, he doesn't look at, and what I think I like about him, the first time I heard his song, I was kind of like, hmm, but then I listened to him more and more, and the thing I think I like about him is, it just seems effortless, yeah, and when you look at the guy, you don't expect that voice to come out. You look at him and go, you look at him and think he's going to shank you. I mean, I'm like, seriously, like he's someone you would see walking in the prison ward and you would go, I'm staying away from that guy. beat you with a bat. Yeah, he's not going to be my shower buddy, okay, because I'm not coming out because he's going to kill me. You know, so, but I agree with you. I enjoy him. I think he's a borderline. The fact that most people, it's funny, he grew a whole lot of fans real quick, but the guy's been writing songs for people forever. I mean, he's had some big hits, right. and they were. What's funny is a couple of hits that he wrote are more, in my opinion, on the poppy country, and yeah. the stuff that he performs is nowhere near that. Right. I parachute. That's a good song. Fire Away is the one you hear a lot of people cover and do, and, and they do it pretty. I've heard some pretty good versions. Obviously, right. no near. Brad Brad does a good version of it. Um, right, we heard Rodney and a couple guys do it a couple weeks ago, and they did a pretty good version. I mean, no, obviously, no one's gonna match that. Okay. That's the hard. So 90s country, like we're talking like Joe Diffie and some of those guys, you know. Sammy Sam, oh, I got to see him at Billy Bob's one time, man. Yeah, yeah, he came out with the saddlebag on, you know, with the Sammy on it, and he took it off and strapped on the guitar. Well, like, some of the songs that I, I still listen to, Seminole Wind or, oh, yeah. you know, Garth Brooks, just about anything. Garth Brooks is always going to be one of those. Some of his songs, I mean, you know, yeah. and, but like majority. Oh, yeah. Shameless, that kind of, you know, that, that. That Garth Brooks is what I grew up You know, it's uh, his last box set that he did, though, I, I really enjoyed. And I don't know if you ever watched the special. He did the special, and he covered genres of music that he listened to growing up. So his last box set was not just Garth music. This was him covering okay. some Ray Charles, some blues. I mean, he covered, it was pretty entertaining. It kind of told the story of, of him growing up as a kid and the music that he was listening to in Mom and Dad's car, mm -hmm. which I find that, you know, I think that's great. That's awesome. I've never seen Garth. Uh, I've never seen him in concert. I'm a big Chris Ledoux fan. He's one of my favorites of all time, probably. Mm -hmm. Cowboys hat. Yeah, Cowboys hat. Cowboys hat. Cowboys hat. I love that song. Well, you know, it's funny. I saw him in concert probably like 14, 15 times. I saw him three months before he died. Really? And uh, now one of his sons is out there on the road doing his music. Ned Ledoux. This is the cool son, not the, <laughs> not the other one. I won't say any more, but Ned, that's funny. If you get a chance to check the guy out, if, if you like a little Christian dude, he, he looks like his dad. He sounds like him. Pretty entertaining. So he's got a son in the front of the world. Well, I say this because we went to a show one time in Oklahoma City. His son was the drummer that night. Not the not the original Western Underground drummer, but his son was the drummer. He comes out, and he's just cocky because, you know, his last name's Ledoux, and he's just kind of being... There was 10 or 12 of us waiting on him to just come out, sign autographed. I already had it on a bunch of stuff, but why not get another one? And... Um, his son come out, oh, he's not coming out this way, blah, 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 this. And he was just kind of a butt, you know? And I'm like, and I knew who he was. And uh, what was funnier is about 20 minutes later, his dad came out the door and literally talked to everybody in line. Literally did not. Him oh, came out and I'm thinking, you know. So, yeah, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big, uh, I love me some, I wasn't ever a big Tim McGraw fan. There's a couple of his songs I like, but I'm a I have a problem with the guy that wears a black plastic cowboy hat. 
You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. You can buy them at Walmart. Now his probably didn't come from Walmart. Loves. Buy him at Loves too. I think John has one. He has the pink version. I actually had a couple of them. Just to be pink plastic cowboy hat. Don't you wear that around sometimes at the house? I got that one from your man cave. Oh yeah, sure you did. It says OSU on it. Yeah, see, I'm not. I, I hear you in the older country. I think you had a better sound, and it wasn't something that you would hear on a pop station like you do wasn't now. No, if you listen to some of the, you know, the Joe Diffies, the Tracy Birds, the Tracy John Lewis. Andersons, the Mark Chestnut. That, yeah, you know, I'm a huge, I've seen him in concert, <clears throat> he put on a good show. I learned Brother Jukebox one time when I was back in the band. Too cold at home's good too. That's the thing about those guys, I agree, it wasn't fabricated. Now, they might no. not have wrote the song, but they made you. Uh -huh. Too cold at home? Yeah. There's a lie in that. There's a lie? What? It's never too hot. No, it's never too hot to fish. <laughs> I, I, every time I hear it. And I don't know, know that like, I've played golf in the wintertime, so I don't know if it's too cold to golf or either, you know, or does he say too cold to no too cold at home? Too cold at home. He says something about golf. He said too, too hot to golf, but it's never too hot to golf. I've golf when it's 102 outside. I, I, it's I, not I, a great I, idea, but I, mean, but I, I agree with what you're saying there because those songs there it seemed like there was meaning behind them. They might not have wrote every song on the album, but right. the stuff you're hearing nowadays, it's like they write it in five minutes and throw it out there and go moon. And unfortunately do it. An, an electric beat, because Danny informed us last week that she's going, what did she say, uh, electronic totally, because I was giving her a hard time. But you know, the stuff they put out nowadays, it seems like it's written in five minutes, there's no meaning behind the song, and <coughs> this catchy line. the problem is these people, they gobble it up. That's what don't get me wrong, I lean toward Red Dirt, our show's more focused on, focused on that, because that's what me and John list, that's what I like, I mean, unfortunately, that's the way it is. Not gonna lie, you never know. One night we might have a blues artist on here. If there's a local blues artist, bring him on. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. It's just, I guess it's my preference. That's what there's, that's what's around. You don't catch me listening to like, you know, K-Ball or something with every, if I'm giving you know, channels. fishing for squid at Lake Matonka, so. That's true. Every now and then now, if there's a local artist that's being put on one of the stations I wouldn't normally listen to, obviously I tune in and try yeah. to give them a listen. I think I, I might think start doing this. I'll be off over here. I'll be like the Paul from David Letterman, you know, off the side. I'm just with a crazy glass to shake my head. I thought you'd be more like the Vern to our Ernest from the Brahms commercials back in the day. You know, you never saw Vern. You know what I mean, Vern? Never saw Vern. Or Tim Allen and, and uh, Ding Dong. To so this day, I'm still mad. They, I remember when I was a kid, they gave away um, Ernest masks from Brahms. No kid, you could go really? in and you bought ice cream. I and it was a picture of his cutout in the eye group. And so. My mom went and got like four of them, and I wish I still had one to this day, because my mom, we'd, we'd have them on and go, you know what burn? People need to comment. Mm -hmm. We need people to comment. I think we ought to let Russell right. play one more tune. <clears throat> what are we at over there, numbers-wise? We got four there, and what do we got on our four, three? Seven people. We have to go with it, but we'll let Richard play another tune. If you're out there on Richard's page or the BS Productions page, you need to comment that you want to win a shirt. One I, shirt. Look, I, have lots of, I have comment. lots of different sizes. Different sizes. And if there's any single ladies watching, you're going to need to pony up the dough because this is not going to be Mandy, cheap. Mandy Farmer said, saw your car this morning. Love it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, my cousin hooked me up. Yeah? Yeah, with his pants. It looks good. I see. I thought yeah. a drug dealer was pulling up. Then I was like, oh, it's just a cop. The music stand is strategically, I like that. I need to give me a music stand. Is it high stuff? Strategically stuff? placed. Oh, I need one about right in this that's, general yeah, area. That's man. where I need mine. So, Comment, you want to win. Like I said, single ladies, put win and then I'm date. Yeah. Wait, well, you put your head on different. I, I can make country songs today. <laughs> yeah, well, then, but I think if they did. You know they what? Said, I think that's the challenge. Like, like, I I next time, yeah. I, and I made Danny do it. Mm -hmm. I keep going back to that because I got her to learn I will survive as an acoustic version. So you need to find a song out there that is nowhere near. Moment, we're up to five. <clears throat> and turn it into one. I see. I think that's great if people do but that. I'm not Take something either. Change the arrangement a little bit, speed it up, slow it down, but turn it into something funky. You know what I mean? Something that's not funky. Doing that cold one. Like you can finish learning Life by the Drop. I mean, that would be good enough right there. I learned yeah. it kind of. I just never got good at it. It's too great fun, dude. Dude, it's not replicated. No, it's not. So I'll put it out of the way. You, you play something else. Yeah. We'll figure out something over here on this wing. Okay. Hopefully, they're okay. doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Comments that you want to win a free shirt. I have different sizes. I have a ladies' pets too, so if you win. And if you want a blind squirrel sticker yeah. coming with the shirt, you better comment. And I need some of them, by the way. We're going to hook him up on air. Um, <clears throat> yeah, comment. This date thing is weird to me, but they said comment, so, anyways.
You got some folks on your page. Mandy Farmer said that's one of her faves from you. Awesome. Lacey awesome. Reis Reisner, maybe? Reisner. Reisner. Mm -hmm. Smiley faced it. Um, hold on, there was another one. How do I go? Just now? Like there yeah, well. and then Danielle Coon said she was hoping you would play this one. Well, oh, I wonder who that is at the door. Somebody's here. Oh, it's the mayor of the giveaways. And our technical assistant running through the house parking. Put to put a muzzle on the both of you. Harley, get him to shut up. Have you had any comments to win? Melinda. Melinda's the comment to win. She's been on all night almost for two hours. I gotta give her credit for sticking with us. She must really want a shirt. Huh? I think one of the others about sell so many shirts. They already have one. What about Richard's page? Are they commenting they want to win? I know he's got some viewers on there right now. Just the two that you said. Well, how many viewers are watching the show? Do I? Oh, we went. We had like six, and then I walked away from them. I got four on this, but I got no comments. How many go on? Two. Two. You had like six just a second ago. Hey, you two can't play right here, okay? We got a guitar and a stand holding some blank paper. Feet. And feet, and we don't want to, you know, get in trouble, hardly. Don't pick on the little guy, okay? One of these weeks we'll put Harley on the show. They'll be like, oh lord. So you're off this weekend. We're going to remind them, right? You're off this weekend. Yeah, I got some some big plans. Big personal plans. plans personal plans. life plans yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. And Are you eloping? Huh? Are you eloping? No, uh, no. No? I'm just asking. I mean, you said big personal plans. Oh, I'm just wondering if you were eloping. I'll take one. He's single, ladies. Am I correct? Yeah. Are you? Am I making that up? Why are you laughing? He is single if you're watching. Hey, we might start a deal on our page, win a day with Richard, see what we can get. We're going to use that, that sombrero cowboy. You don't have that. to be lonely at blindsquirrel.com. That was horrible. That was awful. That was horrible. All right, do you have any comments on Richard's page? I know it's different. you got to look at this home. Any I'm going to play one more song because there's not enough. Are y'all okay with that? I, I, when we're here. Tech assistant. I say we, we, we'll jam you one more and if we'll go from there. I mean, because there's just not very many people going. Um, no, I hear you. And I know a lot of people are probably like... Now, the funny part is, they're not watching live, but then we'll look at the numbers after this is over, and I mean, like, it'll be millions. whole... Yeah. Hey, there, I did my first live... Um, Facebook? <clears throat> yeah. And, like, I was following that. I was tracking through the whole time. Right. I checked everything. Yeah. I went back days later... And there was comments that had the red dot. Like mm -hmm. they, I didn't even see them. Like they weren't liked or anything. Really? And I always try to like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that earlier. I liked a, I liked a couple. And the fact that there was mm -hmm. people watching. I actually went from my phone when I was standing mm -hmm. over there in production and was watching too. So. Mandy said hurt. you quit singing and they went away. And then she said he's going on his Tinder date. Who said that? Mandy. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Do you have a Tinder date? No. Um, to the Sonic? Yeah. yeah. We'll put cheese on the fries, baby. Cheese on the fries, ladies. You hear that? He will pay extra because you don't get it for free. It's on a different pack of cheese fries. Okay? This is the cover. Uh, you might just order the foot long. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're awful. Awesome. Awful. 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 Awfully awesome. It's like a blend. Awfully awesome. We try. We do our best. This is my uh, remake of this song. Now I get this song requested. It's a good song, though. It's a good artist. Jeffrey. You got more Tra Tracy Chapman again? No, I'm just kidding. I almost learned that song. Did, no, day, did you didn't watch last week, right? Yeah, I did. Did you watch when I had to, well, I did, couldn't show on my phone, but Danny didn't know who Buckwheat was. Yeah, Tracy Chapman. And so I Googled, I said, Danny, there's Buckwheat. She goes out, I said, look, there's Tracy Chapman. Yeah, Danny when you goes, said that, I didn't ever put it together. When you said that, I must have said that. Well, like, because when I think of Buckwheat, I think of Eddie Murphy doing the one on Saturday Night. Oh, Ted! Oh, and you look at him, and you put <laughs> Tracy Chapman, and you're just like, and Danny still doesn't believe you. She only wrote two of his songs. That was it. Yeah, uh, Fast Car and... Give Me One Reason. And they sound exactly the same. I'm pretty sure they're the same chords. Okay. I mean, I'm not for sure, because I can't read music. But, <laughs> I mean, if you listen to them, they're the same chords. Yeah. I'll play another one. Hopefully, guys, tell your friends. Invite your friends to get on here so we can give this stuff away. Come on, now. It's not past your bedtime. Don't make them come and arrest you. Yeah. I'm trying to work. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a... Uh, a cover tune, I get this request a lot, and I took this song, I dissected it, and I just made it like how I wanted to sing it. Don't bother me I can take a few tears 
Here, so I said you are booked May 20th, right? Yeah, yeah. Mandy said contact me about booking if you're not booked for May 20th. Pretty sure I'm booked in the daytime, May 20th. I mean, Monday's right. I could be ah, you get the nighttime gig. Wait a minute, we're not even gonna go there. <laughs> so, well, all right, how many viewers guess, you got? How many comments have like we said on uh, the shirt? Well, I don't know that any of them. They don't ever listen she to She said this 7 before. to 10. Who? Oh. 7 mm -hmm. to 10? All the time, yeah, on the 20th. See, so we're booking gigs, right? I was right going to say, does that count if we book a Drew? <laughs> like, yeah, we book your phone your no, page, so no. Take, we won't hit him with our fees. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm available. Send your message and I'll get back with you. I'm drunk. See, we are going to get a cool, couple blind squirrel stickers with your shirt. Free to a good home. Nice. This is our popular one right now. Yeah. It came after the fact, though. What's our sticker lady on Chaz? Yep, designs by Chaz. Designs by Chaz out of Lawton, Oklahoma. Awesome. She does. John, so she made that for us. So that's our cool, that's our like, that's our clubhouse sign, you know, like, you know, guys only kind of deal. Oh, okay. And then we had this one made, which is, I told you, more the little, I don't want to say girly, but we went with yellow because everybody has white, black stickers, so. Uh -huh. And then uh, we have a special one that only we have that has an American. No, I take that back. We're not the only people. GM. General Manager of Scooters has one with an American flag in the background, and uh, Cindy has one on the back of her car. There was only four of them made, so we're gonna throw these out with the shirt. You know, well, we get koozies. We get how many people there. have done, entered the contest for comments? Just one? Is it just Melinda? I, I haven't seen it. Melinda off of our page has been here all night saying, "Just give me the shirt. Just give me the shirt." So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some weight around here and say Melinda's getting the shirt. Okay. On y'all's page. Okay, Melinda. What size shirt do you want? Neither. Yeah. You'll have to text her. I, don't, I think she's off now because she had music of her own to rehearse or something. But she's going to want a shirt because she's like, 
Okay. You didn't get any crazy with it. I, I know, it. it's awesome. I like that. And she even said I sounded good. I'll give her a new one, not even use one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a medium. You got a medium? Can we talk about that? Yeah. I just texted her. When it's cut or regular? Uh, yeah, like universal or are they different? Women's cut will be in this little sort of shield now. Probably a women's. So it's kind of like the one Scott wears? Yeah, kind of what I wear. I say, I say, we, go go with, I say we go with the women's cut, probably. Because ours are universal too. I mean, our, our blind squirrel is just a shirt, like, no joke. Yeah, that's what that is. I didn't know you had different stuff. I got women's cut. And then, and then once we actually give it away, then somebody finally comments. So. This is out to Richard's page now because we never took care of our page. That's, you guys know That's these guys on the little. We want to tell this guy to quickly go to your page. Oh, is he tell on him, our page? Tell him. Uh, Who was it? Hold on, I'm working on it. What's his tell, name? Tell uh, Patrick Smith. Tell him say go to the go to Richard Cliff's page. Oh, that's my uh, that's my brother-in-law. <clears throat> tell him to like the page think. too, please. Tell him go to Richard Cliff Music, Richard Cliff Junior Music. Yeah, on Facebook. On Facebook, like the page, and then join the freaking thing right here, and I'll watch. So speaking of that, did the name Junior ever stick? Since you are a junior, did it, like the people call oh, you yeah. that? Did they call you Junior? My family and like very close family friends, but yeah, that's what. Yeah. I, like if somebody says Junior, I'm like. So you answer to different stuff depending on what part of the state you're in, just like myself. See, yeah, it yeah. depends where you're at. There's a cat. Yeah, we we actually have a cat running around here too. He's kind of hungry. Oscar's kind of cool. He likes to mess stuff up around here though. Cool wasn't exactly the word I was thinking. You stop it over there. Peter might be watching. You know what I'm saying? You guys definitely need to come out and catch one of his shows. Very entertaining. I think I met you, what, like about a year ago, I guess, probably the first time I met you? Probably. Right, we were on there. Facebook talking crap. For a we, we talked crap on Facebook. We were introduced by Brad Good because Brad Good goes mouth and how much crap he likes to talk, so I got to hook you up. So we used to, we used to jab each other back and forth, all in good fun. If you ever want a good crap session, talk, get on his page, but he doesn't have his personal page. Don't do it on his music page. Yeah, I'm trying to keep that. I'll put his phone number out across Facebook, and you can just text <laughs> yeah. him and talk crap if you want. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? So, I think we met about a year ago. I think the first time I saw you play would have been Armed Forces, <laughs> Armed Forces Day. He said, so, Mal, just give him a damn shirt. Yeah, well, no. It's family. So, I think we said family weren't allowed, right? Well, if he goes and likes his page and goes to his live video, pretty true. But he's got to come get it. I'm not taking it to more Oklahoma. I go to church there. See, see, but there you go. Because see, we can't give it to family on our page. He lives over by the he lives by the Warren Theater there. Richard goes to church and more. He could deliver. I go to the Life Church. It's like right down the road. Yeah. They're twenty dollars if you don't win one. Yeah, twenty bucks to win. For anybody that comments and you don't win, then you got to buy one. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Armed Forces Day, and then I saw you again, I don't know, down the road, and I actually introduced you on that at Harley's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time yeah, that night. I remember that. that was fun. Coming back from his Scandinavian. Mike Cowie? Do you know who Mike Cowie is? Cowie? Cowie? Yeah. He says, I'll take an XL and schedule a show. <laughs> schedule a show. Sweet. So does he own a venue? Damn, we keep this up, we'll have your calendar full. Does he own, does this guy own a venue? Okay. Or what's he own? He uh, said Don Fish. Don Fish. Oh, out at Mesa Park. I think they're starting to do live music out there now every, is it every Friday? Um, Mike, if you're watching, I don't remember because someone posted the other day, and I think it was from that, the Gone Fishing page, but you're going to start doing live music, I think, every, from now on, on a certain night. I don't remember what it was. Because there's quite a few guys that were going to play out there, I think. We that stage has always got We could go to Gone Fishing and do a live show. We can use your phone because <laughs> Sprint doesn't get a signal in yeah, Mesa Park. Whatever. <laughs> um, I like that stage out there. It's just kind of got that feel to it. It's homey is the word I would. Uh, not homey like. <clears throat> well, because homie. you're you know you're on the main street in Madison Park, but you're not like right, right in the middle or anything. We may have to just confirm him. He says uh, he says he goes to Life Church on Telephone Road. See you Sunday. Dude, that's me. Oh yeah. Now you got to go like his music page so you know what he looks like. You can't stand out in the parking lot with, I need my shirt on a piece of cardboard. Yeah, that like work. my music page, you can send me a message and when you link up. There you go. There you go. Now, the question is if he'll admit what size shirt he needs on, 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 the, on the page. If he says a medium, I'm calling bullshit. I'm just saying. So you're going to stay pretty busy through the summer. I think so. You've got some open dates, but it's going to I've got two, two like, on the, on the theater card for June. I've already got one day booked in June. Right, the 17th, the day before my, the day before a very important day, my, my 40th Father's birthday. Day. 40th birthday. Oh. I have two options this year. I've decided I'm either going to 
pierce my nipples or go skydiving, but I may combine them and do it at the same time. Pierce while I'm skydiving. Oh, there we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. He commented on your page. What I'm afraid though, hey, and XL, two XL, two XL. Okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> hey, I wear two XL. So do I. What do you think this is? What I'm afraid is if I do the whole piercing skydiving, I may, I may get one like stuck through my forehead. You know, maybe bleed out on the way down. Have you ever been skydiving? I think you should have a midget clown do it. What's the craziest thing you've ever done, like as far as adrenaline wise? I mean, you're a cop, so in my I got opinion. Chased. That's, that's, yeah. Well, in my opinion, my hat's off to you because I know what cops get paid and for the crap that they put up with. To walk out the door every day, put that uniform on. Here lately, there's been cops getting the, the one up by Stillwater just got killed the other day for yeah. serving an eviction notice. Dude shot him three times, then stole this car. Yeah, yeah well, that's okay because the DA said today he's pursuing the death penalty. So. Well, I agree, but I applaud you for putting that on every day. I really do because I, there's a lot of people that won't, and I'm one of them. I'm like, I, I mean, and, I, and the reason I look at it is in this state of Oklahoma, in my opinion, police and teachers are the most underpaid people that there are. Hey, he said that's why that's a 3X. No, know. it's a 2X. I'll pull it off and show the damn pack. So, I saw the 10 minutes too. So, what is the craziest? What is the craziest? Like adrenaline wise. You said you were tased. That was not fun though. No. Is that so you could carry a taser? I didn't have to, but it was like this, so like it's better, you know, just go to court, you can say you want to feel like. What is it? Like, is there anything comparable to that? I mean, I've never been tased. Anything so. comparable to being tased? Being tased? Yeah. I mean, it dies, but. <laughs> You ever grab a hold of a hot wire fence? Oh, yeah. That's those are nothing. Not even. See, I've touched one of those. I've never before. That hurts. It was an accident. That wasn't just bored. That's why he's not going on a Tinder date. Don't yeah. hurt your growth, then that's why you're not on Tinder. I was peeing, and I was like, like, trying to get over And then there just happened to be a hot wire on there. And I was like, I've been hit with a cattle prod, too. Those are kind of I've been hit with a Taser hurts. So, Taser's probably, but you chose to do that. What as far as. I mean, are you a adrenaline guy? Would you go skydiving if you bungee jumped? I've never bungee jumped. I would bungee jump because I'm fat and I don't trust myself. I don't think it'll break. I don't either, but it could. I have a buddy of mine. I've seen it break on the I have a buddy of mine that has a, like a gazillion skydiving jumps under his belt. He jumps by himself, and uh, he started out in college, and I thought he was nuts then, and I still want to do it before I die. I literally do. I, I will. Like, Tanner, the first time I'm okay. My buddy says the coolest part is the ride down. No joke, the ride down is amazing. He said the view that you get from 10, 12,000 feet. And you're just slowly cruising to the ground, he said it's pretty awesome. I'm, I would say you do drilling your police chase, you know? Yeah. Cops yeah, doing like 110, you know? Mm -hmm. Pit maneuver. Never been one of those. No, you never got to put it on TBI, but. What's that mean? Uh, tactical vehicle intervention. So there's a new name? I said the wrong old. Oklahoma's wrong with that. They, they still call it pit in some way. I just call it wreck his ass before he hurts people. That's what I call it. If you see a cop hit him, you wreck his ass before he hurts himself or anyone else. I mean, that might have been. Wreck them, then they're killing them. Damn, they're killing them. Yeah, see, I, I, well, I'm like one of the people, I'm not afraid to hide, so, you know, stuff like that doesn't like, bother me. Like, music parks, dude, I do everything. Oh, I do too. Everything. Now, here's the funny part about that, and it's just a prime example. This is the Rattlesnake Festival this past weekend in Apache. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I won't ride those rides. I won't ride those rides. They get moved a lot. <coughs> My theory is amusement park. That that ride's been there and they service it. These rides are hauled in on a semi, a couple of booze and carnies. I hate to say if you're a carny and smell like cabbage. And they set these things up. No one inspects them. They might be held together with bale of wire and duct tape, which will hold a lot of stuff together. But I don't trust like a spinning ride that I can die on. So you, you will never see me at a county like, fair riding a ride. I won't do it. You don't hear it that often though. That's what's crazy. It's they have apparently one hell of a track record for as many as you think happen in a week. Oh, I know. That, they must, like, they must not be hard on them, or they must really get have to serve them, and you just don't. I mean, them. I'm assuming they they throw the grease gun in the middle of it and go, whoever gets it wins this week. You know, probably that's probably what happens. I don't know. I don't trust them. They're all in on trucks. Okay. So the, the post chaplain, we were in a meeting the other day in Fort Sill. Talking about the post chaplain. No, no, no. It's relative. Trust oh, me. It's oh. relative. He was talking to a uh, survivor from World War One years before, and he said that when they came back to Fort Sill and around, he said Fort Sill somewhere else. They were wherever they were at. Um, they were uh, their training. You know, like at Fort Sill now, you have range control, you have all yeah, this yeah, yeah. stuff, you have all the safety things, all this kind of thing. He was like, well, well where, where was range control? Range what? It's like we just survived World War One. You think we cared? Yeah. We were range. We're just gonna shoot and do what and we want. He, said, that, he said basically that part of the training was when they were calling for fire and, and sending these rounds in that this maneuver force that they were going through was basically going through the impact area, through the phase lines, and the rounds had to impact close enough 
that the shrapnel dinged the lead vehicle. And the, the phrase was, hear the ding, get the ring. <laughs> and it was like, well, how did you determine who was going to be the driver of that lead vehicle? And he's like, they're the ones that screwed up over the weekend. <laughs> so back to our story, if there is a traveling car, well, it wants to sponsor the show. I hope you didn't take any offense to that. You know, but well, then Car Carnegie has a permanent uh, carousel, don't they? It's up there at the Ferris Park. Don't they have a permanent ride or something? For a uh, do you have a Ferris wheel? Yeah, they have rides, yeah. The They've been there forever. They don't get moved around though, right? Am I right? Yeah. They went away and then came back. Oh, well, that could be really sketchy then. But it's it's the exact same thing. But yeah, I wrote it. I'm just I'm leery of anything that travels on a truck and they set but it up. But like it. They spin the ball in the fireball and they go, all right, let's put this together and put some six years olds on it, you know? I, just, I got a problem with that. So the she shirts and I went to Melinda and my brother in law gets the other shirt out in Moral Columbia, but you'll hook up with him on Sunday at church. But the That's family thing is null and void because he got it his page. True, and he went to his page, he liked his page, he gets you another follower, he liked your music. If you're a venue <laughs> owner out there before we cut off tonight and you want to book this man, either hit him up on his page or hit us up through our page. Richard will play anywhere. Now, if you've got enough money, single ladies, and you want a one-on-one -on -one serenade, we're going to have to figure that out. He says, it could happen. you used to be a carny. I mean, no, he actually is telling like he was a carny. I can go ask his sister. He was a carny. At one point, I wrote a lot of carny. The Joe Dirt kind with the Pam and the... <laughs> one quarter, God forbid, sir. You quit after one quarter. Music venues. Uh, Richard plays all kinds of places. Play Tiny Bay's up here a couple times. I play all kinds of music. Too. Play all kinds of music. He's not set in one specific uh, style or genre. Still doing the DJ stuff? No, Are you DJing at all? No. no. Still got your equipment? Uh, I got my speaker. I don't have my sub or stuff anymore. Well, <clears throat> save it. Throw it out if you need a DJ. But you don't need a DJ. He can bring the yeah. guitar. And if he doesn't know it, he'll probably learn it or he'll wing it. Most of them, you know, fake it till you make it kind of deal. So, yeah. I think we've been on the air for. Like two hours, two hours. It's about dinner time. Yeah. Dinner time. Congratulations, you now hold the record for the longest live show on DS Productions. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Hopefully, we don't go longer yeah. than that. But you that's know, a long show. It was. My no. brother is like, we, like well, we, we, we goof off a lot on our yeah. show. Our, our show is to promote our artists, let them do their thing, obviously, and we just kind of work around that and throw in anything that will get you off topic as best we can. It's, it's more like good. a pressure test, you know what I mean? Pretty good. Like trivia question while they're playing the song. So, and where else can you do it with the minefield? You know, anywhere else you can walk a minefield, but here the minefield walks past you. Is your is your wiener dog, bulldog, cats? I mean, is your date schedule on your Facebook page? As far as your dates, are they on your Facebook page? I just have events made for all. Okay, so you've got events made for every day. So you want to know where he's playing next, besides the nut house where he played tonight, you need to go to his Facebook page, which you click Junior Music, right? Yeah. And if you want to book him, hit him up, hit us up. We want to thank everybody for watching. We want to thank you for coming because you drive all the way here after getting off work and especially for giving away two shirts. I guess we'll send you with some stickers from my brother-in-law. You better put them on the windshield of this car. I don't know. But um, just so you know, Blind Squirrel, next week we'll be out of pocket. Uh, we have something going on and we will be back the 4th of May. Is that correct? Yes. 4th of May, we will have uh, Tito Lindsay here. I think he may be bringing a, a surprise guest with him. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but uh, just just locked in. Uh, and then uh, perfect strangers for the what, what 11th day? of May. The 11th of May, we're going to have perfect strangers uh, here, and then we're not booked past that. So, if you know of anybody who'd like to be on the show, um, venue owner, musician, uh, we're going to need to keep going. Now we will have a little hiatus there when we might do a live show from Thursday night in, in Elmer Thomas Park before the uh, uh, you know the Armed Forces Day celebration. Cool. We're going to be in the park setting up stuff. So I don't know if we'll have a guest. It may just be me and him goofing off. And next Thursday may be really cool actually since we talked about potentially just going on the road. Yes, we may take the show live on Thursday, and we might do like one of them uh, Jimmy Fallon. We might take the minivan, and put our guests in the back, and, you know, drive around, let them jam, or you know, a little who knows. Pull up at the Gas Mart or Scotts and get out and just start playing. And movie. let them play right there just for free. And, and we go live on Facebook. So stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, uh, I got to get off here. I got to do my Lucha Libre show that I thought this was. So we want to thank everybody out there for watching. Like I said, especially thank you to Richard for showing up, giving away some stuff, Jim, and putting up with our crap, as I like to say. So uh, tune in next week. <clears throat> Same oh, channel. We Wait, have a YouTube page now. We also, oh, God, I'm glad you said that because I forgot. So. Our lovely tech assistant over here that you can't see who's up here tonight. We do have a YouTube channel now. 
Um, once this is done airing, we will share it to the YouTube channel. So last week's episode is on there, episode one. Both of them. Both one <laughs> well, and yeah, two. So tonight so you're going to part one and a part two. So check out the YouTube channel. Is it under BS Productions? B slash S Productions. B slash S Productions. Look for the squirrel just like the one behind your head. That's right. I love the design squirrel. He's our buddy. Hey, and I'll throw this out there before we get up there. If you know anywhere to find me a taxidermy squirrel at like a decent price, I need one. And don't bring me roadkill because I'm not going to air him up and all that and preserve him with some scotch guard. I need a true taxidermy squirrel. So if you got one laying around in your attic and it's creeping you out or something or you know somebody, we would like to have one to set him up and put him on the show. So that being said, what? Make him famous? He'd be dead. Uh, I mean, a lot of dead people are famous. Yeah, a lot of good and we may go down the rabbit hole again. We talk about death. Um, check out the YouTube channel. Check out uh, Armed Forces Day. www.afdmf.com. I had to think of the acronym. Oh, right mm, yeah. Check out the uh, Blind Squirrel Facebook page. Check out Richard Cliff Jr. Music mm -hmm. Facebook page. Um, you know what? Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, we'll see you down the road. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut. That's right.